game is called breadcrumb. You're gonna take your most lofted club. For me, that's a lob wedge. For you, it may be a sand wedge. We've got two targets out here. The first at 20 yards, the second at 80 yards. My objective is to fly my first ball just at that first marker. Each subsequent ball has to travel just a little bit further in the air. In a recent session, playing breadcrumb with Jordan, we had to improvise and I was the target. And so what I did is I stood out there and I worked as his target and each time I would take a step back. And the number of occasions I actually had to move out of the way as his ball was coming in, almost hitting my feet, was absolutely crazy. First ball, 21 yards. We're trying to learn incremental increase in speed of club at impact. And the way I do that is just feel my body turn a little bit faster through impact. There's about 22 yards each time. I'm trying to feel just a little increase in acceleration with my body through impact, that then causes the club to, to reach impact with a bit more speed, causing the ball to fly a little bit further. And I'm not thinking too much about swing length. I'm really trying to feel how hard the hit is at impact. There's 23 yards right there. That's precision. Plenty of room to work with. 24 yards coming up. There we go. There's 25 and one final ball here. And that one's right at about 29 yards. So I've just landed five balls consecutively into that area. For you, I want to see how many you can land progressively into that area. The game's over when you've run out of space. If you leave a ball short, it's a throwaway. You don't count it. You just count the number of balls you're able to land consecutive into that area. In lead up to Augusta, Jordan Spieth was able to land 27 balls consecutive into that 60 yard gap. The best score I've ever seen is that 27 that Jordan Spieth was able to do. Let's see how you do.